Hello everybody, welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr, and today we're going to be looking at a beer from Hop and Frog out of Akron, Ohio. So stick around. So the beer that we're going to be looking at today uh, is called the Barrel Aged Boris. It is an, uh, it's an imperial oatmeal stout uh, and it clocks in right at about 9.4% so you know really approaching 10%. Um, I want to point out also as I probably already said that it is an imperial oatmeal stout. So this is going to be brewed with lots of oats um, and you know I think it's going to be a really enjoyable experience. Um, this one hasn't been around too long. Um, you know, the brewery Hop and Frog has their regular uh, Boris, which is an oatmeal stout. Um, but really what they've done is taken that beer, aged it in Heaven Hill uh, barrels, and what you get is just basically a barrel-aged version of Boris. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and pour it and kind of see what's going on in Ohio. Um, you know, right away, it looks pretty much like you would expect. Uh, it's black, and I don't hardly see any of that ruby red or raisin color around the edges. Um, so imperial, it definitely is. Uh, the head color on it, really, really love the head color on this beer. You know, I've, I've lately been really fascinated uh, with head color on some of the imperial stouts. While this one doesn't really have a reddish tint to it, like they can sometimes get, um, it's really this nice dark, you know, milk chocolate color um, that I think is just really, really um, nice. But let's go ahead and get our nose in there and see if we can pick up some of that barrel. See if it's going to give us a lot of, you know, chocolate, coffee. That's the thing that you uh, normally get from an imperial stout. So let's see if it's got it. So right away, I get a ton of chocolate. Um, this actually really smells a lot like a, um, a, like if you were to take a Tootsie Roll, for example, and remove the sweetness from that, that's really what this smells like. It's got that nice, chewy, chocolatey, um, you know, dark malt component in there. I definitely am smelling the barrel. Um, again, these are aged in Heaven Hill whiskey barrels. Um, so I'm really pulling that vanilla character out of the wood as well, along with just the, the whiskey aroma itself. Really a good smelling beer. I'll tell you what, if I remember this thing being as good as I think, well, you can see my mouth is watering. Um, I'm going to go ahead and taste it and let's see what's going on. Wow. Man, this thing is just big. It's really big. Um, you know, 10%, you would, it, it, it's getting up there in ABV. Um, I'm actually getting a little bit more alcohol than I thought I would. Now, it's not offensive, you know. I mean, that booziness, I think, really acts more uh, like a bitterness than it does just a straight alcohol burn. So, um, you know, I can really only feel it down in here once it's gone down. It's not burning the front end of my palate. Right up front, though, I'm getting a ton of chocolate. Uh, I'm getting a lot of that, you know, uh, roasted malt character that you get from uh, these bigger beers. Underneath everything, there really is this nice little touch of smokiness, um, I, and it's way down in there. It's not something that, you know, you're, you're going to pull out immediately. Um, I think after it sits on your palate, rests on your tongue, the vapors kind of, you know, take over. That's when you really start to taste a lot of the bourbon character, a little bit of the smokiness. Again, I really like the idea of the Tootsie Roll. Um, you know, it really has that chewy, chocolatey, um, caramely flavor. Really reminded a lot of the Tootsie Roll. And I mean that in a good way. You know, obviously, hey, if you like Tootsie Rolls, then this is your beer. This is definitely something that you want to sip on in the cooler evenings. 
Um, I've been talking a lot lately about how we're, you know, getting into fall here in Kansas City. And, uh, you know, these are the types of beers that I just absolutely love to, you know, leave on my basement floor. Um, you know, I never put these in the refrigerator. When you start talking about Imperial Stouts, uh, really, you know, if you do put them in the refrigerator, I think it's probably okay to put them in there for about 15 or 20 minutes from room temperature. But you really want to drink these uh, between cool and room temperature. You know, I really think that the temperature you drink these beers at is very important. This is a prime example of that. Really a gorgeous beer. Um, I don't know what else to say. I think that's probably about it today. Uh, anyway, I hope you can get this. Hoppin' Frog, I think, is expanding their uh, distribution a little bit, which is good. Um, so this may be showing up in your state fairly soon. If you can get this, I highly recommend it. Also, the regular Boris is not too shabby itself. In fact, I think it's won a couple of awards at the 2008 Great American Beer Festival. So that's always really good as well. And these do only come in 22-ounce bombers. But Well, that's what I've got for you today. My name is Mark Starr. Thanks a lot for coming back. We'll see you. Cheers.